Hey guys, it's Beanie Boo Wolf, and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm here with part two of my Q&A in honor of 2,000 subscribers. And also, before we start, I just want to say that if I did not answer your question, please don't get mad or accuse me of ignoring you. It's either I already answered this question, I didn't want to answer it on camera, or I just wasn't sure how to respond to it. So yeah, I just wanted to say that real quick. Alright, let's get started. These first few questions are from Lacey's Fun Time. What's your opinion on flippables? I think flippables are okay, I just don't really think the sequins really work well on a stuffed animal in my opinion. So there are some places where the sequins are like sewn into the fabric where it's like stuck and you can't flip them, like right here and right here. And I also keep finding sequins in weird places, like there's a sequin stuck in the nose. But all I can say is that they are way better than Beanie Bellies and Squishaboos. Those, on the other hand, are nasty. Do you have any pets? I do. I have one dog, and her name is Poppy. Say hi, Poppy. She's like, leave me alone and let me rest. So we're gonna do that. How many custom Beanie Boos have you made? Way too many. I'm gonna guess around 20 or 30. I've been making lots of customs lately because I've kind of learned how to do more things when it comes to customizing other than just coloring on them. I also started an Etsy shop where I sell my customs and I've been trying to make a lot so I can sell them. But most of the time I end up not selling them because I either fall in love with the custom and I want to keep it for myself. Yeah, I know, kind of selfish, but I can't help it. Or the custom is just really bad quality since I want my customs to be high quality when I sell them because I don't want them to like get messed up. Who's your favorite custom? I don't really have a favorite custom, but if I had to pick, it would definitely be this one. It's basically a miniature version of my mascot. And I think this one is so cute. And these next questions are from Sarah. And I don't know how to say the rest of the name, so I'm just gonna call you Sarah. The first question is, who is your dream Beanie Boo? I already answered this question in the first Q&A, but my dream Beanie Boos are River and OG Slush. Why is Skylar your mascot? Because I feel like she kind of represents my channel and me as a person in general. And getting on to the next question, this one is from Zoe Mickey. What animal do you want Ty to make a Beanie Boo of? Well, there are a lot of animals I want Ty to make, but let me just tell you the ones I want the most. A golden retriever, a white wolf, a squirrel, and a floppy-eared bunny. And these next questions are from Mishtiff Boos. What did you use to make your intro? I animated it using Flip -a Clip. What's your favorite dragon, Beanie Boo? My favorite dragon is Anora because I think the black and the rainbow look really good together and I like how the rainbow parts are kind of shiny and metallic. Like, this Beanie Boo is really underrated. I think it deserves more appreciation. Who's your favorite flippable? My favorite flippable is Slush because I'm pretty sure he was my first one and he also reminds me of my mascot. Who is your favorite lion? My favorite lions are probably either Layla or Hero. And the last question they asked was, who is your most rainbow Beanie Boo? Well, I have a lot of rainbow Beanie Boos in my collection, but I think probably the most rainbow ones I have are these ones. I'm also in the process of making a rainbow phoenix custom. I don't know if I like how it's turning out, but yeah, I might sell it. And these next questions are from Waddle64 Does Stuff. Do you have any unfinished videos? Yes, a lot. Usually when I'm in the middle of recording a video, specifically a music video, I'm always like, you know what, this is taking forever to film and everyone's probably gonna think this is cringe, so I'm just gonna stop and film something else. And then it just sits there in my photos, incomplete. Why does YouTube keep deleting comments? I think it's because YouTube thinks my content is for kids or they think that I'm a kid myself, but like YouTube, I don't need that. I can handle it myself. Do you have any tips for BooTubers? I have lots of tips, but let me tell you the most important ones, I think. Have good lighting, have a setup, don't film on the floor, have a high quality camera, edit your videos, have an original mascot. Another tip is don't make shorts. I know that shorts get a lot of views and you can get a lot of subscribers from them, but most of the subscribers you get from making shorts aren't even like active subscribers. They're just some random person that subscribed just because they saw some short of a Beanie Boo dancing or something. Making a short every once in a while is okay, I guess, but if you just post nothing but shorts, then your channel won't really look that good. Okay, sorry, I was talking for way too long. Let's get on to the next questions. These next few questions are from Beanie Boo Giraffes. 
One of the most underrated booTubers in your opinion. I think the most underrated booTubers in my opinion are Sam's Beanie Boos and Indigo. Their videos are amazing. I recommend checking them out if you haven't, and please subscribe to them because they deserve more. I put the links to their channels in the description. How long does your art take? It kind of depends on the drawing. If I'm drawing something like this, then it usually takes about four hours, but if I draw something like this, it just takes like one hour or something. And something like this takes like five to 10 minutes. What's your opinion on Yoohoo and Friends? I think that Yoohoo's are fine. They're not really my thing, but I did have a Yoohoo phase when I was like nine years old. If you got a duplicate Skylar, would you customize it? Nope, I would probably keep it as a backup. This will determine if I stay subscribed to you. Cereal before or after milk? I don't really eat cereal that much, but definitely cereal before milk. Never trust someone who pours the milk in before the cereal. They are most likely a psychopath and they will murder you. Okay, I'm just kidding, but seriously, who puts milk before the cereal? That's just... Why? And these next questions are from Phoenix the Great. Do you have any pets? I already answered this question, but yes, I do. I have a dog. Who inspired you to start doing art? Well, I started drawing when I was like two years old and two-year-old me didn't really get inspired by anyone in particular. I just kind of started drawing on my own. But now I'd say my inspirations are Beanie TV Productions and this person on Instagram called Coffee Claws. Who or what would you be if the BooTube community never existed? Well, if the BooTube community never existed, then I honestly don't know what I would be. I think I'd probably make gaming videos or animation memes. Or I just wouldn't make YouTube videos at all. Have you ever thought of joining a different community? Yes, multiple times. I remember I wanted to make wolf quest videos, I wanted to do animations, I wanted to do animal jam videos. I had a lot of ideas. What fandoms are you part of? I'm not part of any fandoms at the moment. Only this one, if Beanie Boos counts as a fandom, I guess. Who is your favorite BooTuber slash YouTuber? I actually don't have a favorite YouTuber or BooTuber because there's just so many I like, I just cannot pick a favorite. Who's your favorite artist? Just like the previous question, I have so many favorites, I just cannot pick. Who is your second favorite Beanie Boo? My second favorite Beanie Boo is Spirit. Do you actually like being a BooTuber? To be honest, I do like being a BooTuber. It's one of my favorite things, but sometimes it can be stressful. Would you ever start your own blog? I've never really thought of starting my own blog, but thinking about it now, I kind of want to. So yeah guys, that right there was part two of my Q&A, and I tried answering as many questions as I could, and please don't be upset if I didn't include your question in this video. It's either I wasn't sure how to answer it, I didn't want to answer it on camera, or it's just already been answered. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say in this video. Bye everyone!